Hello, baby gangsters. This is Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is Romer Reacts, a series where I watch videos with you guys that were submitted by my patrons. And the first video is sent in by Cosmic Catloaf, and it is the Obsubstantial Anya Nami Genshin Impact original song. Let's check this out. <laughs> your judgment is a your existence. Is it, this is Scarabouche. This, yeah. <laughs> That's actually like, sorry, we're gonna watch it again. I'm sorry, but we're gonna, I just wanna hear the beat again. Your judgment is a short existence. Very cool stuff. It's nice, it's a nice beat, isn't it? It's an interesting style though, isn't it? After finishing the inversion quest, um, <laughs> the cook my heart and serve it. I know it's probably like it, it, like it's unrelated in that sense. Like the idea of a heart relates so closely now to Scaramouche, right? That it's like it's like it hits, it hits even in a song like this. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is like a perfect explanation of who Sca This song is was this song made for Scarabouche? Wow. Oh no, you don't want this though, Scarabouche! You don't actually want this. Holy it's so like tailored to Scarabouche. No. No. Hurts. Hurts so badly. It's very, very, very good though. Like the song is very good. I think the style is very interesting. But I'm just like so like like it hurts. <laughs> it hurts so bad. Like he's like like You're gonna see my thoughts this week. After listening to the song, like it just hits like the inversion of Genesis Quest hits my mind again. We're gonna be doing that this week. Uh, I've never talked so much in a quest. I think the end of the at the end of the day, I haven't edited it yet fully, but it will be like four hours and a half at the at, maybe not at least. It could be less than that actually. But like I haven't edited fully, so it's around four hours and a half or less is going to be the final time for that entire quest. Um, which it took me a while just because I don't think I've ever like had to unpack line by line all the, like every nearly every single line the Scarabouche says we are unpacking. Like such an important quest, and this song fits that whole story so well. Not just like the talk of a heart, but the talk of like the perception of what Scaramouche thinks they want. And I think they actually did a really good job with that actual song there. Uh, so thank you for sending in Cosmic Calov. That was really, really, uh, really, really cool to see. Uh, Cosmic Calov, big fan of Scaramouche, um, always finds the good Scaramouche videos for sure. Uh, so yeah. Uh, yeah, it just hit, hit me again. The version of Genesis Quest hit hit again. We will be doing that this week. I don't know how it's going to unload because it is a, you know, four hours and a half is a long time. And I'm pretty sure like I probably like I haven't checked it out. You guys can tell me is that like longer than it's supposed to take? Is it shorter? You guys will let me know. I don't know. It's not about what it's supposed to take anyways, but it's how I, you know, play the game. Um, and I figure if you're still here on, on an episode like a hundred and nearly 130, I'm pretty sure you're you're you know the drill <laughs> at this stage when it comes to the quests. Um, the next video is sent in by uh, thank you Cosmic Calder. The next video is sent in by Nekosan, and this video is a summary in Sumeru, and they said specifically that this video uh, is uh, it shouldn't have any spoilers, and people confirmed it definitely doesn't have any spoilers. It's just well after we finished Act Five, and we did. Uh, uh, and Kamiya, this should be pretty okay. Let's check it out. The Academy would suggest all researchers I have no idea what to expect from this. The Stupendium? Is that what it's called? The Stupendium is the name of the channel? Is that right? Yeah. There you go. Subscribe.
Subscribe. Oh, hello. You don't look familiar. Oui. I suppose you're here for a little bit of lyrical enlightenment, hmm? This is like production value, man. <laughs> this is actually like like right, serious production value here. Strap in. Welcome with the traveler. You know I haven't seen you. You stand to be the grandeur of Sumeru Academia. A scholarly repository of knowledge and philosophy. Concoction and apocryphal. Seldom to be seen here. A word is official enough. I'm speechless just because I wasn't expecting, like, a rap. <laughs> when I saw the old man in the thumbnail, I thought we were getting, like, a storybook, <laughs> like, thing. So I was a bit, a bit stunned. A bit stunned, I think, at this stage. Oh, it's an Ari! That was so fast. <laughs> I was like, okay, 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 okay. Which, you know what? Like, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do that fast of a rap. Are you can not So here's the summary. So I'll take you through the basics, the most obvious of straight facts. You've landed in the okay. Nevertheless, the continent of Tay, that is made of seven nations. There's the talent and for pain, and to ruin in the Zubas. There's phenial, you won't stand. I don't get overwhelmed. There's a plethora of realms, elemental light, abyssal void, and human where we dwell. But don't think of the... There is so... There's, again, there's uh, so many different realms and worlds and regions, right? Um, at the start, like, like, I... One of the things I will say about Genshin, though, it never felt overwhelming, you know, uh, at that, because... Like the way I played it is very easy to do. Same space is more like layers in a cake. Well, no, that's silly. Maybe well, the cake is filled with currents. No, the elemental kind. There's light and dark. Okay, a cake filled with currents. It's like magic dreams of energy that carry all the memories of everyone there's ever been and all they've left behind. Perhaps I should have tackled this before we began, but the human realm was held by the primordial one. I'd expect a god for Jenna. Oh my god, the primordial one. When the primordial one is mentioned, I think we all clench. What's up with this not being a bad like chorus? Hold on a second. Like this is not like. Like that's not, that's not bad at all. Like that's actually not terrible in any way. Like a razor man. Oh my god, Amber crushing it. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I don't, I, like, you, you, you were very fast. Okay. You asked for it. You're very so fast. Ago, there was the sovereigns, dragon lords, the old powerful sort, just sort of hovering about all seven with a territory embellished by their presence with their elemental offerings. You want to hear specifics, so we haven't got time, but each nation's okay. got a sovereign impact on their climbs. Let's try a oh my god. No electro geo, I mean, I really convenient that they all happen to rhyme. Then obviously enters the primordial one. Wait, did they actually rhyme? I, I trust them. Oh, it does. It flows very well. They're like going so deep into like lore, like that can be very confusing. And I think recently I talked about how like I was a bit confused. Uh, so it's actually pretty interesting, an interesting way to like do this, right? It's a super interesting way of doing this. Is that an actual thing, by the way? Like, is that an actual, like, um, thing at this point because people were suffering so much they had no... Which, which actually makes sense because, like, 
I guess like the time, like the people who document stuff are usually the ones who are like kind of like in the the cushier position. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah, there's sometimes you'll see like uh, from a war, like people will be writing stuff, but usually it's like the poets and like the newspapers that are the ones who are like documenting a, a battle like that. You don't really have time to document stuff like for future reference if you're constantly getting killed. Like it's a sick line. It's a lot. Oh, this is such a like, like the chorus is like fits like a hotel by the way, dancing in the middle there. A chug. People don't normally make it this far. I thought you might have switched for a different video during the second chorus. <laughs> right. Listen up, it's time to learn about the Archon War. When it started again, we This dude's watching his analytics, by the way. This dude is watching his analytics. I'm not sure it's either start of the calamity or after it. What matters is it happened, it was bad, that it lasted for at least a whole millennia. Again, be clear, we're guessing here. The date is in Celestia, a region in the heavens where the gods are in their special chairs and sit and do whatever. Dare to question who do better and who gets to keep on blessing us. Heaven divides, it's all the heavens divided. Each nation collides with those they used to ally with as deities fight over a place in the sky until they got a seating plan they could agree on the side. So this, this, is, this is the Archon War then? Right? This is this is the Archon War where the seven deities decided like, hey, I'll take this place, whatever. Yeah, the seven. Kadria, oh my god. It's kind of insane, right? Like that, um, this is like, they're, they're getting, like to me, it's insane that they're getting at this just because like, I, I, I think this course like slaps a bit. Yeah, it's, it's insane to me because like, I never, I should pause when I say this. I like, when, when I'm thinking about this, like, I never thought, I, I, and it's such an interesting aspect to me as someone who like, actually like, you know, like, you know, gets confused by the lore sometimes, like, and it's such a really good writing technique, I think, as well, to be like, hey, like, we're not going to document absolutely everything. So not everything's going to be revealed in these documents constantly, especially stuff during the war. Um, and it's it's such a reasonable excuse to not have, like, every single thing in the war documented is by saying, why would they document stuff when they're too busy being eaten? They're too busy being killed? They're too busy fighting? I know, it just makes perfect sense to me. That opening cutscene still is insane to me, by the way. It's still so insane to me. We're done? Everything you could need to know. I did neglect to mention the Nelsies, the Vision Wielders, the Batui and the Abyss Order, at least one or two other types of dragons. Sorry, I'm going to use this video for something here for a second. I apologize so much. <laughs> apologies. Watch this now. Look at Child in the Scarf. We all need to realize, like, how important this is, you know, to the world. Like, this, 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 this changed lives. I'm pretty sure that, like, for a brief moment in time, everyone was hugged. In the abyss order, at least one it just two made sense. Look, there's a lot, okay? You'll figure it out. It's stressful trying to keep track of this stuff. I needed this probably, you know what I mean? Um, because you guys say this to me all the time, in fairness, so you guys are constantly like, hey, you know, Calvin, this stuff is stressful. This stuff has a lot of stuff in it, but I try to make sure it doesn't stress me out, right? Because I do understand that, like, from a lot of people's perspective, like, you don't want me to get stressed because a lot of people like the <laughs> like the playthrough and you want the playthrough to keep going. So there is that thing of like make sure that <laughs> make sure that everything's kind of trickled in a way that doesn't overwhelm Calvin. And I totally appreciate that so much because I feel like with with the combination of the way I played the game and how you guys have trickled information to me, I feel like I have enjoyed this series and this game so freaking much more than I possibly could have uh, by myself. You know what I mean? Like, this is a game that, like, I feel like if I played it by myself, I would love it still. 
but I feel like the way I played it as a community and with you guys, it feels like I'm playing the game sitting with you guys in a room, uh, and you're all like, you know, staying extremely quiet until you need to speak up and be like, hey, hey, but remember this part? And like, it's a really sweet experience. So like, I do like appreciate this guy's also being like, hey, look, it's not easy. It takes a toll. Look at me. I'm only 26. Nah, you look young enough. Gingered Impact is an open world action RPG game available on PC, iOS, Android, soon to be and Xbox. Soon to be Xbox. Step into a vast magical world now and start your adventure on the continent of Teva. Is this sponsored? The new Parade of Providence update brings new events to it. Wait, Parade of Providence. I was going to pause it to talk about uh, if it was sponsored or not. So this is uh, this this was an update. But Parade of Providence is that an event? I wonder, should I, like, skip this part of the, the sponsorship part? Just n not to be rude to the guy, because obviously the sponsorship is really cool. Maybe I'll skip this part, just in case I have to watch the- I want to watch the Providence. The pr if you, you, you guys tell me if it's a, if it's a, an important one, uh, the Parade of Providence part of it. But yeah, that was a cool video. That was a really cool video. Again, let me see if there's anything... Yeah, it seems like it's just a promo for it. That's fine, that's fine. Um, yeah, I don't mean to be rude to this guy, but um, I don't want to also, like accidentally like say if we are gonna watch it even if there's like a little thing we want to know about the parade of providence event it might be a fun thing um unless it's not an event and it's just a a mission or an air conquest or something then you guys let me know that too but that's fine um yeah this is a really interesting way of telling the story and i actually did appreciate the message at the end that everything was kind of a little bit complicated i think that as sponsored videos go it makes sense that this would be a sponsored video because of how like the production value went into it the actual pretty good explanation of everything was happening for me like a, like it was really fast at the start but once you get adapted to it then you're able to like understand it quite a bit more um but yeah i thought he was actually like really really good really good for what it was because again i'm not like that into like the idea of like i never watched raps when i was uh, on youtube again so it's another one of those things where like i would never see this video unless people sent it into me uh at all that's just the truth like i would never see this video and it's not because like i'm like 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 oh i don't like videos like this it's more just like my YouTube, like, is literally just, like, smosh, um, old reruns of, like, reality shows sometimes, <laughs> and, like, you know, John Wolfe, uh, Kyle Bosman, Maximilian Dude, like, stuff like that, like, New Legacy and things like that are, like, what's recommended to me constantly, so, like, I just never see stuff like this, because as I said before, I try to stay out of, like, the Genshin stuff like this, but yeah, this was, uh, this is fun, this is super fun, um, thank you so much for sending in, uh, neko -san. um, I will also say, I think that one of the things that's, like, cool about doing summaries like this is that there are no, like, how do I say it? There's, like, no harm to the story itself because you're just having a fun time. I bet the majority of people who watch this video aren't actually looking for an actual summary. They're looking for, like, a fun retelling. Like, if we can actually, like, I'll go back to it for a second here. If we can actually go back to some of the stuff here that we saw, like, let's pick a random par here. So the most replayed part here. Like here, like... Like here's the thing, that's the thing. I feel like, say, since I like, I'm already like, you know, hell, you know, set on like, like reading into stuff like this. Stuff like this would make me go like, okay, very cool. Oh, they mentioned this. They mentioned this. Okay, cool. We can look more into that as well. Like, oh, it's cool to get like a recap and a refresh of the story. I would say if you watch this and never, never like actually saw, like, or I've never actually heard about this stuff, because you can go through Genshin without, like, up to a certain point at the very least, without like really paying attention to that aspect, right? You can. Like, you really can. Um, and you can, like, just, you know, it, it's, it's, it's not impossible. So imagine if people did that. Like, would they hear this part and be like, what is that? And maybe look more into it? Like, I think that could also be a really cool thing. Well, yeah, okay, we'll move on. Uh, thank you so much uh, for the uh, video, Neko-san. Uh, the next video is sent in by Golden Witch Beatrice, and it is Genshin VA's play Among Us, um, but animated. And they say it's a gem that needs to be shared. Let's check it out. Kimberly, tell me what, what you, you did. What yeah, did. I was struggling. You know that one time... So this is... <laughs> too, Kimberly, too soon, okay. what you did. Yeah, Erica. I was struggling. You know that one tab. <laughs> they have to heat up the table, which is so funny. You have to have your timing exactly correct. <laughs> Why is the heater with a gun like the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life? That's the task in electrical I was doing. Okay. Hey, Academia. Hey, guys. It was Bard Boy. 
I'm the engineer Bird boy. At the event, and I literally watched you kill her. Every imposter is a shame. This is so well animated. Oh. And I thought I saw Mama Spear disappear in front of what? my eyes. You know what? It's very well, I'm the Mama <laughs> Spear is the shapeshifter. It's, it's not it definitely not me. Why would you even suggest that? When we were focusing on Erica, that leads me to believe you're the other imposter. Okay, look, okay, okay I'm oh. sorry. I know it's like we're not focused on that aspect, but look how, look how adorable Venti looks here. Why would you even suggest that? When we were focusing on Erica, look, that guys. leads me to believe you're the other <laughs> imposter. What? I would Sadly. never. Let me tell you, I... if I was the imposter, believe me, you would be dead. <laughs> 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 Sorry, question. Have you watched Fairy Tale? <laughs> Where is this going? Just answer the question. <laughs> yes. I is your Sino with the head. Chase? What about it? So it is. Got him. Got him, boys. <laughs> Somebody convince me what to vote. <laughs> we're gonna vote Erica beer. first. And then we're gonna vote Chelsea. Oh, don't put her on the table. Immediately no. yourself out like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that seems a little. Oh my god! You guys are crazy! Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> oh. Later, Shannon approaches Candace. This is super funny. I love this type right. of stuff. I, I, I want you to Shannon's know. outfit's Did amazing. I falsely accuse you? Yes! Yes, oh. you did! I saw something <laughs> funny. So I saw someone that shapeshift in front of me. So the two people oh, were Bard Boy and Stoke God. Bard Boy and Stoke. Oh no. So yeah. Caught. <laughs> I think this is so like adorably animated. Like like I can watch like a full TV show of this, right? Like the facial expressions and all this stuff? I could watch a full TV show of this. Sweet. <laughs> oh no. Wait, is that Sha The voice actor for Shangling's voice is so deep. Am I right in like I'm here? Sweet. So deep. <laughs> Oh my god! Doggone it. Doggone it. But they're actually so talented, the voice actors, oh anyway. Oh no! <laughs> Are we gonna report that? I won't report it if you won't. Why are you reporting me? Hello? <laughs> Where were you? Well, I saw. Okay, oh. so I was in navigation and I saw no. you standing there. Because uh -huh. you were sus! I was sus! <laughs> I'm this is brilliant. I'll hate to say do the bar roll. I could watch a full TV show of this. What? Uh oh. This is conflict. I saw Ash moving around. Of course, of course, Kalei's voice actor has the softest and sweetest tone you've ever heard in your life. Of course. The most perfect character in the universe. This is conflict. I saw Ash moving around. Oddly. And, um, <laughs> well, what was your task before this? Were you finishing up a task? Yes, I was doing the reactor. Oh, look at Nilu. Be no, down. <laughs> this is amazing. This is so good. Whoever made this video is so talented. So talented. I'm so sorry, Ash. <laughs> you guys turned on me so quick. Did you just wipe so yourself with a fungus? You were now you know how so. I felt last stream. It's most it definitely not me. Guys are crazy! The next one would work in progress, but it per probably won't be done for a few months. This is why well, I'm uh, showing I'm it now. I'm going to physically <laughs> puke, <laughs> and it's all Shara's fault. Listen, listen. You were a little sus. Shut the mouth. mouth. Bob, you can never! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Here's a clip of later doing the full penguin dance. Yeah, I think you, it's, a, it's like a software that would, that you do this in, right? Sorry. It's like, I, I think I'm right in saying that. It's like a software you can do that in? That's really funny. Which is actually, like, pretty interesting to me. Like, I wonder, like, how many people have actually, like, um... Taken advantage of that software, but no, I think these, these videos are so funny. And, like, the, I, that's probably one of the best animated ones I've seen, just because of how, like... Like, how the motion was perfect, and it felt like a very fluid thing. Also, like, we know Sino's voice actor... Never. Like, like, and this is in a good way, by the way, because I, as a fellow person who, like, never stays quiet, when we watched the last thing, Sino was not staying quiet at all. When we watched the Uno playthrough, um, 
So I wonder if it's just like, you know, when there's so many more voice actors, it's a bit different, right? You know, because there's more people, like, obviously, like, you know, the the, the louder ones are going to take, you know, control. But you have, like, I, and that's why I love about voice actors doing this, right? Because voice actors are people that want to talk for the most part. They are people that not maybe to each other, not maybe talk in person, but they love to, to, to speak, right? And you have to kind of love to speak because if you don't, you're probably not going to have a good time at your job. Um, yeah, I, 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 I would always, like love to get into voice acting somehow. I'm not saying I'm good enough to be it, but I'd say it'd be fun. It'd be really fun. Um, really, really funny stuff. Uh, thank you so much for sending a Golden Witch Beatrice. That was really, really funny. Um, great video so far, guys. Uh, the next video is sent in by Leon, and this is, uh, have one of my favorite pathologic anim animatics. You haven't played the game, and I don't think it would be your thing gameplay-wise, but I think it would be nice to share regardless. Uh, pathologic. I don't know what this is. Like the actual game itself. Let's check it out. We might have to look this up afterwards for sure. Oh, I know. Mother, mother? What is what is this? Like legit, like what like what is Is it does it say in the description? Oh the the account is dead, I'm sorry. <laughs> um maybe I don't want to read that. Uh, it's really neat song. The colors are gorgeous, holy hell. Yeah, that is neat. It's like a like you, like it's like an intentional hand drawn, right? It looks hand drawn. What? What? It's actually really pretty, but like bloody. So that so this is a a doctor thing, because that's a scalpel, right? And that looks like a doctor's bag. I'm pathological. Oh, it's such a beautiful design. What the hell? What is... We need to look this up. We definitely need to look it up afterwards. Was that it? When I say that's it, by the way, I'm never, like, you know, being rude about it. It's just, like, usually these videos you guys send me and go by so fast, I'm like, huh? What? Um, it's not like, oh, that's all it is. It's like, whoa, my god, it goes by so fast. Uh, let's look it up for a second here, because that was actually really pretty, first of all. Oh my god, okay, it is like a full-on game. Pathologic. Holy hell. Wait. This looks incredible. This looks absolutely incredible. Oh my god. It's on Steam only. What type of game is pathological? It's a psychological horror adventure survival? This looks incredible. You guys aren't seeing this because I'm looking at my iPad. Which probably wasn't the best option. But hey. Nobody said I was good at this. <laughs> But it looks amazing. I might put some pictures here if I remember. If I don't remember, um, blame my editor, who is me. Pathological 2 is not fun. The experience is slow, torturous, and miserable. That sounds so good. I would say the game is challenging and thought-provoking. I'm, I'm hoping I'm, look, I'm looking at the right thing, because it has a scalpel in it, so I'm assuming that it is that. Um... Let's look at the, 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 the description for the game. Sorry we're getting sidetracked here, but... So here's the plot. Regardless of the player's choice in player character, each of the three healers tries to uncover the source of strange lethal sickness known as the Sand Plague that has befallen a small remote town. Okay, so it is a a doctor-style game. That's pretty freaking... I actually might check this out. Um, what would you guys think? Like, with the thing, it's on Steam, so I probably, like, you know, I play a lot of console stuff on the channel. I want to change that eventually to we where we improve, like, the setup, so we have, like, 
you know, an easier, more comfortable way. Because, like, my whole setup, and I've said this before, is, like, set up to, like, play console games. It's, like, so comfortable for console games. Uh, so we'd have to, like, make sure we're setting that up right and everything like that. Uh, thank you so much for sending, Leon. That was actually really, really interesting. And, like, like the game says, it's, it seems pretty thought-provoking. So we're going to have to check that out uh, at some point for sure. Uh, very cool. The next video is sent in... Uh, by Phantom Vaporeon, and it is the Sim Mogir, and it is a song, once again. Uh, let's check this out. I can't win, why? Saint Germain. Interesting outfits as well though, right? So, the name Hibiki we've seen many times on the title of these videos, right? We definitely have. Great hairstyle, by the way. Great hairstyle. She got it locked down. She got that hairstyle locked down. She knows what she's doing. Maybe not, but... Because we've known from these songs they have a lot of struggles in life. Oh my god, the voice acting! I am a genuine... Like, like, I'm always interested in how each story, each, each anime, each game, each, like, whatever, like, always does their, um, battle armor. And I think that, like, this always looks very, very cool. You know what I mean? For the most part. Like, battle armor is, like, like, we saw, like, with, um... Oh, we're getting full-on animation here. Like, with, with Honkai, for example. Sorry, with Honkai Impact, like, the battle armor in that game is so freaking cool. And it's all down to color more than anything, I think. This is Saint Germain. We've heard some good songs from this, this series of, of uh, you know, of songs, but I will say that like this is like one of the best like flows I've heard, which says a lot. This, boom, boom, boom. Like how that flowed into each other, like with the with the the dual vocals was fantastic. My ripening brain again, like the idea. I think there's a lot in like this about like always about like the idea of like fighting on, right? Interesting to say if there's someone that you fight for, you know what I mean? Because usually it's a lot of like, I will fight for myself, fight for my own freedom, so if there's someone you fight for, so there's obviously some emotions behind this as well, towards someone else as well. Cool, very cool. On the way to guilt on my soul, what the hell? <laughs> I'm a big fan. I know, like, a lot of people aren't always a big fan of that idea of, like, you know, with the power of friendship, like, I won't give up because, you know, you're holding my hand. I'm, I know, I'm always a big fan of it. Like, I'm always, like, a sucker for that stuff. Like, even when I remember, used to, I used to, used to, like, debate, not debate, but, like, we'd have, like, these, like, long-winded, like, conversations about, like, with my friends. It wasn't, you know, you could say debate, but, like, I just hate the idea of debating because it's, like, man, like, why debate? Like, it's, like, whatever. But, you know, it is a debate. It's just, I think the internet has sometimes ruined that term sometimes. Um, but it's, like, hey, like, it's, it's, 
the idea of like I was always on the side of like the power of friendship is a really cool concept in any story because it's not just like people boil it down to just being the power of friendship but it is also more than that it's the idea of like what has happened in your friendship it's the power of what you've done for each other you know which is what impresses me about the power of friendship Great vocals, like honestly great vocals as well. Nice little breakdown as well. Nice, really nice. I do like that, like, the vocals aren't like like perfect together all the time like so it sounds like more of like they are like struggling a little bit you know like they're not always like so in harmony with each other the two vocals which makes it feel like a little bit more real i like it i like it this is probably the best song we've heard so far which like i don't know like a phantom vaporium will have a, a different take like, that's beautiful. Like, Demi, I, I really like the song. A lot. Really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. Thank you so much for sending in Van Fantasy Boring. That was a nice listen. That was a really, really nice listen, to be honest. Like, um, I don't know. It's like, to me, always, like, what, what happens with, like, um, these songs is, like, you know, you, you hear the, how well made they are and how cool they are, but I really, like, you know, uh, you know, sometimes you feel the emotions, sometimes you don't, and that time I definitely felt it, you know what I mean? I definitely felt, like, what they were trying to get across there. It definitely did feel like a struggle, uh, which is really cool. Thank you for sending in. Uh, the next one is from Felicious Felix and is the Farazan Master of Ingredients and Devices character demo. A character who I adore. Um, we grew from, like, just not even knowing who they were. No sense of respect. Yeah, no sense of respect. Academic you tell them. Research isn't some oh my god, look at her at the table. Topics don't just go in and out of fashion. Of course she would care about that. Matt of course. Farazan's life started more than a hundred years ago. And tell her story covers as much ground as the major academic You tell them. What is it that you would like to learn more about? Different forms of pressure-based puzzle look at mechanisms? This. The base layer design of elemental monuments? <laughs> I'll hang out with you youngsters. Look at that. I'll hang out with you youngsters. I love that she loves that she's old, like by the way. Why? Right? It's such like a cool character detail. Because usually like it's the opposite. It's like, don't call me old. Like she loves the fact that she's old. She's like, I am over 100, bro. And she loves it. Which to me is like a really like, I don't know, like it's a really cool change to have someone who like embraces like how like being old is more knowledgeable. Look, look at the little like thing she does like in her head. Wait, did she do like a little wipe away? Hold on a second, like, wipe away all the knowledge is too much? It was too much. Yeah, you wipe it away, look at this. This is really cool. Yeah, no, she's still racing it and starting again, that's really neat. The music is, like, so interesting as well for Farza, I didn't expect it for her. Farza's such a great character. I have her as a C6, so... Always. Always. Always interests. Oh, what did you say? Oh, I'm old now, so every other phrase escapes my ears. Yes, Try tell him. Me Madam Farozan. Yeah. I'll see if I can pick that up. I adore. I adore that she is constantly like, hey, I am old. Talk louder. Please. <laughs> like, it's such a nice touch, isn't it? And she's such an interesting character, such a deep character. The hangouts are getting deeper, but there's less of them. I think that's what's happening. They're getting longer and there's less of them. Like, literally in... in Inside the the, the, the the confines of Sumeru, we literally only have one hangout left, and that's Layla. And that's it. Like, we have... um, 
Ka no, no, sorry, we have Kava as well. We have Kave as well, because that's after another act. We have to finish Al Haytham's thing first. So that's why I got confused for a second. Yeah, we have we have uh, Layla and Al uh, and Kave, but we also have Kaya, which you will do, but the Kaya hangout is after Sumeru. It's after you finish the Sumeru um, Archon quest, which I think is, um, you know, legitimately very, you know, I, I don't understand what's happening there. Like why did we came and maybe just released after that? And that's probably the case. But uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much for sending in, Felix, because I'm actually like very, I'm very attached to the idea of Pharaoh's and now, and I hope we get to see more of her in the future. Uh, the next video is sent in by Dodo Dan, and it is the VG VHS finale. Let's get a little bit scared of this stuff here. These are freaky. These are terrifying. Um, these make me cry. March 24, 1993. I'm trapped. The locks went off. I was oh my god, already, already, it's demented. Oh, I thought that thing would protect me. After all, I'm not good with thinking on my feet. And now I'm awake. My heart stopped beating. What? And they put the boards back up, so there goes my only way out. Holy hell. <laughs> Either way, it hurts too much for me to get up. I guess it works the same for me as it did for them. I die and end up as one of these. I just wish I knew about that part earlier. I don't know how long I'm gonna be in here. So, like, again, like, hearing anyone's distress call, so sickening, right? So terrifying. They're still alive. I can hear them moving around outside. Someone must have put them back together. <laughs> I thought this place was closed down and looked dirty and hot. And they probably think I'm still dead. Oh my god! They hate me that much. They hate me that much? <laughs> they really are just like him. Oh. <laughs> they deserved it. It shows. I bet they're wondering why they're not up in heaven right now. Oh my. You know, they got me, so. Oh. Why and not? the voice acting as well is so well done. It's so well done. If if you guys maybe I'll turn on the subtitles just in case if there is subtitles just in case you guys need to um they're auto generated but like it 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 it, it, it you know it'd be good for you you know. They dancing up there with all the angels. Okay, it's definitely not good. Let's turn off those auto generated captions. We're not going anywhere because he doesn't care. God doesn't care about justice or what's right or wrong. Oh, God doesn't care about justice, what's right or what's wrong. Is this is the type like of stuff that, like, I would have heard this, like, when I was playing games on, like, the Xbox 360 or something, right? Like, in a random game I bought. And then I'm, like, telling people about it the next day. And, like, it's it scares me for life so badly that I talk about it forever. Interesting things happen. I would know. I would know. I hope he's treating you better than me, Joseph. I hope he's treating you better than me. Michael, don't leave me here. <laughs> oh my god, it's so... Like, oh, my skin's crawling. My god, help me. How could you do that to your own father? So this is Afton. I hate you. I've always hated you. Oh. I'm going to kill you, and I'm going to make it hurt. Oh, no. Oh, how I miss the way you used to cry when I screamed at you. Oh, that's this disgusting. That's disgusting. so much worse. I'm going to get out, and I'm going to find you. Jesus. And I'll give you a real reason to cry. Go 
without me and leave me rotting in a room for God knows how long. But do, does he have food? Like what? Every year, I don't know. I've lost track of time. I can't. I don't. I'm alone. Damn you! God damn all of you! Voice acting is 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 that that's what's like making this right because it's just it's a screen with a it would a date on it, and this person is doing a one man performance that is so impressive. I got out. I got out. I got out. I don't know where they took me, but it's somewhere new. There's so much more room to breathe. There's so many things in here. I remember every single one of them. They have your mask, Michael. The fox. I, I hate looking at it. It makes me feel so alive. Come Did on. You say the, I, am I right in saying... Hold Michael, on a second here. The fox. The fox. I, I hate looking at it. It makes me feel so alive. Come on, Michael. Come visit me. That's no, that's horrifying. Which you make you do it. That's horrifying. I'll give you the warmest welcome you can imagine. Oh no. I see you. No, you don't. You don't see any of us. Ever. There was a lack of seeing us. He's close. No, he's not. Let's not be close. Let's be far away forever. Keep your match alight. Be ready, Michael. How about, how about never talk to me? Oh my god, the sound. that that's It takes me back to Five Nights at Freddy's so quickly. The sound of like vents and like metal clanging off like surfaces. Oh no. And this is the finale. You know some crazy stuff's happening. No. No. It's crazy. It's freaking crazy, man. It's so crazy. This makes the game so much scarier. By a mile. It makes them so much scarier. Like, I will I will stand by that statement for the rest of my days. Paul Morales. Lucas and Angie Collins. What are you doing? Are these all the names of the kids? And like maybe some of the parents as well. The music is so unsettling. It's so unsettling. Together again in forgiveness and peace, my butt. My butt. One of the most horrifying. I think an incredibly horrifying. Uh, finale. Like, the voice acting, the brutality of it, the screams, the way it called back to the actual, like, games itself and, like, the story of the games itself. Like, this is, like, this has made me, like, want to go back into the original four games again and, and even play Security Breach and just be absolutely freaking terrified even more than I already was. That's what this does to me. Thank you so much, Dota Dan. And don't take it sort of that as me saying anything bad about uh, your submission because, like, I'm a big horror fan. And that feeling of, like, feeling terrified is a good feeling sometimes. You know what I mean? It's, it's a good feeling because I, I, that's why I've always loved horror games. Like, you know, I, I'm the type that plays a horror game. I get scared for, like, 10 hours and then I go, wow, that was the best experience of my life. <laughs> I've always been um, a big fan of, of that idea that, like, not everything has to be 
um, cheerful and happy all the time. Sometimes things will make you uncomfortable and that's what their intention is. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, Sword of Dan, for actually sending it in there. Um, and it was a great time watching this whole series. Really appreciated. Um, and I can't wait to see what stuff will be next. Because that was a really, really interesting and thought-provoking and scary and insane series. It really was. The next video is sent in by Minyu. And it is another Honeyworks video. With the Honeyworks stuff is actually like very emotional. It's called Friday's Good Morning featuring Narumi. Let's check it out. Art style already. Look, art style is incredible. Look at this. I freaking love it, man. I love it. It's Friday, right? You gonna be there? Oh, look at the colors! You guys probably know now, I'm very in love with colors. You got some good colors. I'm in love. Forever. So the meet of the trade out platform. Oh, this is so pretty. Describing exactly what's happening moment to moment. Yeah, that's that's you don't see that often. Oh, you want to talk to each other? That's such a good line. Is it weird to say hello? Oh my god, I can't. Like, sorry, I'm sorry. I keep rehearsing saying good morning that's such a freaking she, she she's trying all kinds of like casuals like oh hey which is play oh hey because i'm ass and english good morning oju sama style goku uh, goku gen you and a manly osu so she's trying all these ways to think which is the best way and she's doing it like in public look that's why everyone's looking at her she <laughs> trying to do a more positive version of myself assertive version it's hard to say hello sometimes that's like sometimes the hardest hurdle to get across You gotta fight for romance. Oh, this is sweet. Look at that. Doing a good backdrop here at the school as well. Does someone hear me? Everyone hears you all the time. You, again, I didn't know something like the actual beat behind is pretty cool too. I'm running into subconscious about this. Oh, man. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. No, he's waiting. He's waiting. You can do oh, that's good. That's good. That's so good. So like he's just as awkward. He's just as awkward. That's so sweet. He's just as awkward. No, that's like, that's like, no, she should be so proud of herself. Because now, now that gives him the avenue to also say hello next time. You know what I mean? Because if he was nervous, you know what I mean? Because sometimes, let's be honest, boys are just dumb. <laughs> and it's like, they are like incompetent when it comes to knowing when someone wants to talk to them sometimes. You know, they are sometimes dumb. And now this is like a good avenue. And again, here's the thing. It's not just boys. Like anyone, like any type of person uh, can get, get nervous like that. And I think like it always just takes like that one hello, right? That one hello. Wait, is that a... Did you, no way. What the hell is this? They're showing like the different daily routines. We saw the butt crack. It's okay. It's hard though to just relax. This is so pretty. Look at this. It's hard to just relax. You gave him the umbrella? That's actually smart. That's so smart. I wish you could be on Sunday too. Oh, 
I think this is super sweet. Oh my god, look at the colors as well. Girl, that was so smart giving him the umbrella. So now he has to give it back. Yeah, it's so smart. You have to interact. What a genius. For, you know, I know she is like she's very nervous. Obviously, it wasn't like a calculated thing, but it's so freaking smart. Like that's like again, if you like someone, you know they like you. Like it's such an easy thing to be like, you know, hey, oh hey, you know, take my umbrella, and then the next day they give it back. That's a whole other conversation you can have. Genius. That's the type of stuff that like your girlfriends are probably telling you about as well. You know, so smart, so sweet. Um, really, really cool art style as usual. Um, I, by the way. If anyone's out there like, oh, I'll try the umbrella trick. It only really works if you know the person. If you've, if they've, if you know that they've been look, they've been looking at you too. If you know that there's been some sort of like conversations, like or like you know, sort of looks every time you pass each other by. That's like really only how like it kind of works. Like I'm not telling people that like you know, hey, go do the um, this umbrella thing. That wasn't, a, but it wasn't a trick for this girl. She was just like, hey, this is a good way to talk to him. But I'm saying, like, it's not, like, when I say trick, I don't mean, like, hey, you're trying to manipulate things. I mean, like, just, like, a little, like, hey. Because that sounds bad, doesn't the word trick? I mean, more, like, the umbrella mission <laughs> It's probably a better way <laughs> to put it. Uh, but, yeah, like, you know, only do it if, like, the other person is clearly a fan of you. Only do, only do that type of stuff if you're, like, you know, you know what I mean. I think in this case, like, it was a very sweet thing, you know. But you don't want to just go to a random person and be like, hey, give this back to me tomorrow. And they're like, I, I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know you. Uh, yeah, but very, very sweet stuff. I thought it was incredibly sweet. Um, Friday's Good Morning uh, featuring Senna's Narumi. Yeah, it was really, really sweet stuff. Thank you so much for sending me, you. Um, I, yeah, I, like I said, I didn't mean to call it a trick because I don't think, she, like, yeah, it's not a trick, right? It's just like a, like a little thing she did uh, to be able to talk to him. It's like a little mission. It's like, it's just a very, like, like smart thing to do if you're nervous as well because it's kind of like an excuse to talk to someone, right? It's like, the, it's the equivalent of, like, if if she, like, saw his book drop in the middle of the hallway out of his bag and it's like oh i can pick it up and just hand it to him be like here's your book there i get to talk to him right it's just it's just a very simple thing um yeah thank you so much for sending in the next video is sent in by emerald and it is more genshin attack animations let's go this is a really interesting video last time made by emerald themselves um has not listed but for sure should um if you if you if you want to, don't know if you um, like compelled to make these public because I actually think they're very very cool videos. I with these guys I never have time to look at their animations, so it's actually very cool to look at them here. And also the dialogue is so interesting too. Yeah, it's really cool. Again, I never have time to look at the animations because, like, these guys especially, I'm just trying to kill as soon as quick as possible. And they're, like, they're, like, talking crap when they fight as well. Like, they're talking crap. You know? They're, 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 they're trash talking about the world. About how they're gonna win. Read. that's one of the coolest moves but the thing is like it's, it's hard to avoid sometimes but like you just have to like yeah well like i say hard to avoid then like look at emerald over here just like literally walking i'm always like you know frantically jumping out of the way the neat move isn't it the abyss shall rise once again. very cool the world the death animations are almost just as interesting as like the actual um, fighting animations sometimes, right? These guys are cool. Look at that. He's like, I got a little book. Peace be with you. He's just like, hey, go on with yourself. And that's when they get the shield, isn't it? 
I love the animations with the books. I think it's so cool. And again, they have such like like detailed dialogue as well. Look at that. There's just some really sick moves with these guys. Shall set you free. The power of revelation. The door is opened unto you. Unto you? The door is opened unto you. Is that like an invitation? The truth shall endure. Crazy. Oh my god, look at this area as well. This is the one we fought as well. To this world of you. Let the flames of redemption. They sound so angry as well, right? They always sound so angry. The power of flame compels you. Oh, hit the mic, sorry. Was that like a- oh no, yeah, that was dropping back down there because look at the, the effects there, yeah. They're very fun to fight though. They are very fun to fight. Really cool, and then, yeah, like we said, the death animations can sometimes just be as cool as the actual. Holy, look at this! What are you doing here? So this is like Farina, like is is one of the characters which like um instantly cool design when we first saw Farina. Also, like, a very popular character, by the way. I know this just because people talk about Farina. Like, not, like, talk about their story, but they're always, like, you know, every time Farina's mentioned, like, oh, cool shoes, Farina. I love the way you're just dodging this as well, Emerald, by the way. Are you getting healing from this? Is that, is that Farina's power? Oh my god. Oh, the animation. I'm sorry, I'm looking at it. Oh, she does a bow. really neat stuff. Again, like, the way, like, the after effects come up on the actual, like, ground as well. And, like, this, the weapons sometimes always seem, like, otherworldly, too. Insane dodging. Look at that, like, and the specific, like, again, like, they feel, again, when, you know, when they talk about the Abyss, like, it feels like they're fighting with the Abyss. Oh, that's the next thing. Okay, I, I wasn't even expecting. Okay, that's really, really cool. Really, really cool stuff. And like, I love like seeing Farina's animations as well, which are really cool. Like the idea of a bow after any type of move, you guys know that gets me instantly. Uh, really, really cool stuff. Yeah, Emerald, I, I think they're really good videos. Um, you know, I, I think that the, 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 the enjoyable aspect of them comes from like definitely like seeing stuff that I wouldn't usually see myself because I'm so busy like fighting these enemies. So I don't usually think about like, oh, what's the next animation or what's this or what's that? Uh, so it's actually really, really cool to uh, uh, see this stuff. So thank you so much for sending in, Emerald. Uh, and thank you so much for making that video. Really, really cool stuff.
Um, the next video is sent in by Nightmare444, and it's part two of the story of evil. Um, and this was something we saw last week that I didn't even understand what it was, really, the first time I saw it. It was a crazy story about that little queen. Let's check this out. I am your loyal servant and your country's queen. Us a pair of pretty twins, burdened by destiny. Let hellfire consume me if that's what must be done. I will gladly play the part so that you may shine, my son. Are we doing two different stories here? Or a few different stories. There seems to be like more, more of a focus on like the kingdom itself as well. On the day the two of us were brought into this world. They said twins, so we talking about like twins. Okay, they are brother and sister. Oh man, no! So he's like the servant and she's the queen? Really cool uh, art style here. So still supporting her even though he can't like directly support her the way that he would want to. I mean, jokes on everyone else, though, that made him, like, the servant. Because his outfit's way cooler. Little dagger? Oh, he's a little, tiny little dagger. So he's saying, like, I will gladly be what I... Oh my god, look at that outfit! Who'd you bump into? <laughs> Such a sweet outfit, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, you fell in love? And we hate it. it is my queen's order. Wait, what? What? I will grant no. 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 So then tell me my no. That's horrible. That's horrible. I am your loyal servant. That's so bad. What the hell? I think one of I think one of these more cursed than the other it seems. No, there's no innocence here. What the hell? You love that girl, and now she's gone. I think you need to establish some ground rules with this king and queen stuff. Of course. Oh no, are you serious? Dude, I, I, appreci I appreciate some dedication, I really do. But you love that girl. Insane. Insane. <laughs> what the hell? Do you know do you see something? Because they, they met before. Stop. That's that's so bad. And all they need is a head. That's all they need. No, you I can't I can't get over the girl with the with the with the hair that had to die. Say something! We know they don't say something. Oh, this is, look at this. The, the... That's so, why would you? I could not live with myself if I saw this happen. Oh, I believe it's tea time. You believe it's tea time? Insane. <laughs> what are they doing? And you give a little note? Stop. Sick. 
sees this. And it's just like, this is just like a thing people know of. People knew of this story of the daughter of evil. He had to give up this girl he liked. And you guys knew about this and never told me. I know I can't do anything because it's like, obviously it's, it's, it's not real. But like, that hurts. Why would, why would they do this? That hurts. That's a crazy, like I can't believe I never heard of this. Like, that's an insane story. Like, hey, yeah, sis. Like, I adore you so much that I will literally kill the person I love for you. It's a very, like, again, someone needs to explain this to me more. Someone needs to explain the story to me more. Because I am just blown away by the idea of this. Like, I feel 50 different emotions at the end of this. So someone needs to, like, give me, give me, give me an explanation of, like, how people felt at the time about this. Because what I feel is... So sorry for this boy. Like, this girl should not have been queen in the first place. It's very clear that she, like, has, like, a lot of problems, and you know, from, from birth. It very much seems. Insane. Insane. So, like, what I, like, and when I say problems, by the way, I mean, like, mental health problems. I don't mean, like, problems like, oh, God, she's weird. I mean, like, obviously, like, she very clearly, like, has something in her head where, like, I don't know if it was jealousy that someone, like, was, was that was hanging out with her brother. Um, that she wasn't gonna be the only thing that was given attention or something. Maybe that's the, that's it. Like I don't know. Again, please explain this to me. Maybe I'm wrong about everything. Please, please, someone help. Please, someone help me. Help, help, Calvin. Help, Calvin, also known as Rober. Help him. Thank you so much for sending in Nightmare Four for Four. Thank you so much. The next video is sent in by Pauline uh, Grint. Thank you so much for sending some in, Pauline. And they say this, uh, I hope this is fine. Oh, they're talking about spoilers. Pauline, do not worry about it whatsoever. Thank you for being so sweet and asking. Um, and when people ask, it's always very sweet. People have asked before in this as well. Like, yeah, but do not worry about that whatsoever, Pauline. Um, the video Pauline sent in is Hoyo Fair, The Diagnosis, Genshin Impact Fan Musical. Let's check this out. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for um, asking, Pauline. Um, let's go. That's why rooming with Al Haytham is the worst. No, it's not. Oh, and another thing. He's been wearing my limited edition Weasel slippers. <laughs> Kaveh, stop complaining about Al Haytham. <laughs> Besides, why would he wear your I was going to say, right away, sons? already, this is like... Wait, he's so much richer than you? Really? Already, it's that thing where it's like, you know, have you ever sat at the table like with one member of the couple? And they won't stop complaining about their, their, their significant other. And it's like... I think like... And then you offer a solution to them. You're like... You're like... Well, then, like, to tell him to, like, get it, tell him to get his own pair of slippers then or something like that. And they're like, I can't say that. You know what I mean? So much richer than you. If he wanted, he could buy thousands of them. This is really beautifully animated, by the way. everything else, I think I'm getting sick. At the mention of Al Haytham. <laughs> <clears throat> Kaveh, as a forest watcher, I've seen my share of ailments. If you'd like, with Sino's help, I can diagnose you. Do you think this is serious? Tell me what you see. Hmm. Cheeks are sunk. Oh my like god. As he dies. What? And from the bulging of your eyes. Oh. Oh. You got the most severe of cases. That's just how my face no. is. No. <laughs> shrunken. Nausea is your new week. And Sign was helping out. It's up to us to intervene. And shed a light on what you're saying. This is amazing. All the indicators tell us. You're jealous. jealous, huh? It's safe to say I'll hate those great renown. <laughs> In tape, that brings you down. Oh my god. You're jealous. You're dying. Dude, the vocals are amazing, by the way. Nature's loss. Your sisters <laughs> have a cause. This is crazy. Who makes you think I'm jealous? Oh my god, did Kali card? It's his look, it's his vibe, it's his status and subscribe. Bet you never Sino, like Sino you rapping? Can't, can't afford his house. Hey. It's the clap, clap, clap he got. It's acting grand sage. Do you snap, snap, snap? Because his youth reminds you of your age. Turn the oh page. my god. The, the, the animation, the drawings are in here freaking amazing. Oh my god, look at that! 
Like, look at the colors here and the art style. I'm sorry for getting so distracted because it's also the song. We'll skip it back, but like, it's such beautiful art style. It's grand stage. Do you snap, snap, snap? Because it's youth reminds you of your age. Turn the page. It could be the fact that you want his wage since you're always short of mora. You know, that like, I'm not poor. Oh Four my god. Reflect and respect our intellect. Our theory is not the I've had enough! Fellas. No! <laughs> This is so. It's like really sweet though, to say time though. No, poor Kama. The most beautiful man in the history of the universe. Oh my god, happy, happy cover. This is incredible. This is so good. Like, it's a good song as well. Like, that's the thing. Oh my god. Oh, you, you're jealous? You're actually jealous? Tell everyone. They just want to play cards. All of those boots. <laughs> Look at this beautiful man. Holy hell. I'm jealous. No! <laughs> Still the stomach ache. Um, absolutely glorious stuff. Like some of the best stuff. Uh, I'm so freaking happy uh, we got to see that. I really am. Because again, like, I think their, like, relationship is so sweet. And it's so, like, natural. And it's so normal. And so relatable in some ways, too. And that's why I appreciate so much about it. It's such a relatable relationship, if that makes sense. Uh, and I do love, like, the, you know, like, it, it's, again, I've been through this before where, like, you will talk to one person about their relationship. And, you know, they clearly, like, are head over heels for each other. Whether it be like, even if it's like just two, like on the other side of things, if it's like two friends, two loved ones, two, two mar a married couple, whatever, you're talking to them and they're like, oh, he does, this, he does this, he does this, he does this, he does this. And it's like, that person's on your mind quite a bit. That person's on your mind a lot for you to think this way. You know what I mean? Uh, really, really, really good stuff. Thank you for sending in, Pauline. So sweet. So sweet. Uh, but what we're watching today next is from Kat Sith. And it is a wonderful cover of the song from Princess Mononoke. Uh, from the Ghibli movie Princess Mononoke, of the word it's a wordless cover song, cover of the song Princess Mononoke, covered by Zhu uh, Zhou Shen, uh, accompanied by piano by Lang Lang. It's wordless because his two musicians only had a few hours to prepare for this performance, which is basically an informal mini concert added at the end of a variety show about tourist attractions. The year was twenty twenty, amidst the concert cancellations and travel restrictions. Uh, musicians who were usually too busy uh, for other things ended up going in on the same variety show. Uh, I'm, there we go. Uh, so this is the audio only fan edit, which is probably less likely to get picked up because the last one we got picked up um, got picked up uh, like crazy. Like crazy. Um, let's not not that this person's last video is last video with this exact vocalist got picked up like crazy so like i think having less video in it is probably like the best way to go about it uh let's check it out great vocalist by the way now it's spelled the same way in in uh in the message so is it the same singer as before I know the hairstyle is very similar. Gorgeous. Sachi's is such beautiful, like, and the piano playing as well. It's just stunning. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god. I'm stunned. I'm actually stunned. And the fact that they did this during the pandemic as well, like, it, I imagine this hit hard. This would have hit hard. Especially on the lack of, like, musical performances as well. As well. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at the subtle playing of the piano now. That was, again, like, I'm almost like, 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 legitimately, like, holy hell, how, like, quickly things uh, go by with this stuff. Like, it, it, it's like, it's, it's like, it goes by in a flash, some of these videos you guys send in. Like, it literally does just go by in a freaking flash. That was three minutes and 25 seconds. That was just like, I went to do, I went to do it like a, a deep slumber forever. I literally went into like this slumber. Holy freaking hell. Beautiful stuff. Really beautiful stuff. There is another video that we have later, by the way. I just want to say, because I said last video, uh, there's a, a Twitter video as well that someone wanted to send in. I made an exception this time. Obviously, we can't do it every time because like it just doesn't work with the setup. Um, but this person, uh, you know, asked and I was like, okay, we'll do it this one time for sure. Um, but yeah, like really beautiful stuff. I think like the Ghibli stuff is always like one of my favorite things in the world. Believe it or not, I actually haven't seen Princess Mononoke. Uh, it's one of the only Ghibli movies I haven't seen. My favorite Ghibli movies are uh, number one, Heart, uh, the um, the Whisper of the Heart. Number two is probably Cat Returns, and I'd say number three is Ariete. Uh, those are my three favorite uh, Ghibli movies for sure. Uh, beautiful, beautiful movies. Video and the last video sent in is from Death Trap, and it is actually a Twitter video. I said I'd make an exception just for today, and we're gonna check this out now. And that is indeed it for Roma Reacts this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching this series. Uh, we get more some more submissions every single week, and they're all freaking awesome. And I adore seeing your guys' tastes and and joining it with mine as well, and inviting me to new stuff. Usually, there is some blocked out stuff on uh, the Patreon. If you want to check that out, it's the you know just for one dollar you can check out the uh, whatever it's been blocked. Now, check if it is blocked in your country because if it's blocked in your country, I will have it in the title. I don't want someone going in if it's blocked in Russia, for example, or if it's blocked in. Uh, Japan, and then clicking on it and paying for it and then not being able to watch it. So it will say it in the title in big bold letters, the country it's blocked in before you ever consider donating. Um, so thank you so much to Typhara 2, Jamie Bull, Janet Banana, The Ghost of Inazuma, uh, Felicious Felix, uh, Ewald, Radish, Anusta, Shabata Red, Malcontay, Death Trap, and Linksmark. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.